Welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, I have something from Under Armour. Always love the Under Armour stuff. Let's open up the box and see what we got because these are, they're more or less new on the market. Charged, Assert 9. Check this out. Look how good looking this shoe is. I mean, usually I don't comment about the looks because that's really, really personal, but this, these ones, in my opinion, are pretty good looking. So, overall, very comfortable, very lightweight. I do like every, pretty, literally everything about the shoe. This is a running shoe, just a regular running shoe, so don't expect much from the outsole. It's designed specifically for certain basic terrains that you would do your running on uh, but we will talk about all of that later in the review so if you're ready let's start as some of you already know this is not just a regular shoe review this review specifically for my ultimate survival boots shoes whatever whatever kind of on your feet what whatever you're wearing on your feet if something bad happened and these were the sneakers that you were wearing and now you had to survive in them would they be good for your survival or would they get you killed? And overall, of course, are they good running sneakers after all? Well, how do we make the judgment? We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's begin criteria number one, of course, comfort level. And in order to test the comfort level of everything that I review on this channel, meaning the shoes, boots, whatever, I do a three mile run, no stops, and then a five mile walk, no stops, no pauses in between, and then I continue wearing the shoes for the rest of the day. So that the total wear time is about eight hours. Like I said, I love the comfort level of these charge shoes. And uh, one of the first things that contributes to that comfort level is the weight. So let's start with that. Let me get my scales. And uh, this is, by the way, size 10. And the size 10 on the scale is, let me see if I can guess it. I would say about 11.1. Hmm, okay, three ones. Let's see if I am correct. Wow, it's actually better than I thought. 10.4, excellent, excellent weight for running shoes. Now, to give you kind of a brief uh, introduction to the numbers, if you're looking for something lightweight, if it's boots, right, full-size boots, mid-size boots, you're looking for something under 20 ounce. As long as it's under 20 ounce, you're gonna feel pretty lightweight. Now, of course, for shoes and sneakers and all that sort of stuff, smaller stuff, right, the number drops. So I would say if you're looking for a good trail running shoe or a regular running shoe, as long as it is under 15 ounce, that should be pretty good. This, as you can see, a 10, very, very impressive. So they are very lightweight. You can run without any problems for extended periods of time. If you're a good runner, you can make it in these. Now, of course, another thing that contributes to the comfort level is the flexibility of the outsole. And here, as you can see, it is extremely flexible not only it is extremely flexible it is also creasing in a perfect spot exactly where it is supposed to be and because there are no pressure points over here there's no kind of fatigue from anything to worry about all right let's move on to the inner sole the inner sole here i'm going to take it out so i can show you and uh, hopefully it is removable it is removable uh but uh, it's actually kind of uh, sticky, which is good because it is a running shoe and you don't want your inner sole to slide around. And check this out, as you can see. Uh, very basic inner sole itself. It does have some extra cushioning to it compared to a lot of other things out there that I've tried. Definitely more cushioning. It, as you can see, it is two layered. Not much heel, not, not really, not much. No heel bed. No R support, not a big deal, but once you remove it, there is additional layer, another layer to give you some extra cushioning. So overall, very nice, very soft inner sole combined with all these different layers. Excellent job under armor. In my opinion, I do like this sort of when there's additional cushioning because you're running, you start, you're running properly, you don't put any stress on your heels, great. Eventually you get fatigued and now you're putting some stress on your heels. Now you have all of that cushioning to protect you from the impact. So good job. Now, of course, all the padding, as you can see, you got the padding in the tongue, padding in the shaft, and then moving throughout the whole shoe, you have very soft. I mean, from the inside, it feels like there is a very nice jelly layer that gives you additional padding for comfort. So comfort-wise, 
excellent job Under Armour did on these shoes. Let's move on to the criteria number two, proofing and protection. Obviously not much to talk about here. It's these are now waterproof, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, they don't really have any kind of protection except a little bit of the piece of design here, uh, except a little bit of this rubber piece extension. Uh, and of course some from the outsole, but we will talk about the outsole later. No protection in the ankles, the heel is very soft, so keep that in mind, this is not for proofing and protection. Let's move on to the criteria number three, quality and the design features. Okay, quality wise, holy cow, these shoes have over 10,000 positive reviews on Amazon. Over 10,000. So almost five stars too. <laughs> so yes, the link is in the description below, check it out. Usually I rely for quality, on the reviews, on the existing reviews, I do the research and these have plenty, plenty, 10,000. I don't think I've seen ever that many reviews on, on something. So very, very good in that department. Design features, usually I talk about the lacing system. Here, not much to talk about, very basic, just your typical um, fabric hooks, close hooks to save on weight, nothing, nothing crazy. Let's move on to the criteria number four now, outsole traction and stability. So whenever I do my run and my walk, because it is a specifically for ultimate survival gear uh, and shoes and, and boots, of just ultimate survival in general, right? I do it on a variety of different surfaces, right? Asphalt, tarmac, sand, dry sand, wet sand, dry grass, wet grass, just a bunch of different surfaces. <clears throat> now, really applicable for this because it's specifically a running shoe. It's not a trail running shoe. It's not a hiking shoe, nothing like that. It's specifically a running shoe. So you would be running on mostly asphalt and you know, your normal typical city surfaces, right? So no point to talk about, of course, they would be a little bit slippery on the wet grass because there is really no aggression here. Uh, but overall for a running shoe, this is definitely a really, really good outsole. Uh, I do like the fact that they used a high quality rubber on the outside to give you a decent amount of protection. So overall, pretty good. Let's move on to the criteria number five, temperature. Very nice and breathable. I mean, for, for, for hot summer days, running in these is a breeze. It's fantastic. I love it. Obviously, no point to talk about the cold temperatures. There's no insulation. These are not waterproof, so scratch that. Uh, so probably not a good winter running shoe. <laughs> you, you're going to get cold. Uh, but let's move on to the criteria number six really quickly. The sizing. These are true to the size, so no problems there at all. Criteria number seven, balance of application. So if this really was your survival sneaker, right? If something bad happened and you were wearing this, would this be good for your survival? Well, if you are a runner, if you think that you will be running through the city streets as far as possible, as long as possible, that's your survival goal, this is the survival strategy, whatever, that of course would be fantastic. Now, if you had a variety of terrains through some mountains through some whatever obviously i would say stay away it makes no sense because this is for city okay this is a city sneaker um so no point to mention that here but for the city this is as good as it gets uh, probably one of the best sneakers i had for running so far i absolutely love 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 these and the very last criterion here that i wanted to mention criterion number eight the price 50 dollars, 52 dollars currently on amazon the link is in the description below by the way um excellent price for i mean for everything that you're getting for the comfort for uh the lightweight for everything i mean the design Excellent job. I think that's definitely a fair price. $50. You really cannot go wrong. So let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you think about this sneaker? What do you think about this review? If this was helpful, please consider subscribing. That would definitely help. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This was Ultimate Survival Gear. I'll see you guys in the next video.